Welcome to the Nozzle Replacement Guide. If you have not yet removed your hot end from the printer, visit our hot end removal guide and meet us back at this step. First, remove the silicone sock from the hot end and set it aside. Select the large hex key from your included kit and slide it into the opening on the hot end. Use this as a support to avoid placing pressure on the throat tube. Use an 8 mm socket wrench and affix it over the nozzle. Hold onto the hex key for support and loosen the hold on the hot end. Unscrew it completely. Locate the cleaning rod, which was included in your printer's toolkit, and insert it completely through the hot end to ensure it's completely clear of blockages. Thread the new nozzle onto the heater block until finger tight. Then use your socket wrench to tighten the nozzle. Remember to always hold the hot end by the Allen key that's going through the heater block. Use your feeler gauge to measure the distance between the nozzle and the heater block. If the nozzle is too tight, use your socket to first loosen the nozzle. Carefully rotate the heat sink a half turn and re-tighten the nozzle. Remember that the heat sink does not need to be flat as we will adjust any askew positions later. If the nozzle is too loose, loosen the heat sink, then tighten the nozzle. Once the position is correct, remove the hex key and rest the hot end on a flat surface. Use your smallest hex key to loosen the screw in the middle of the heat sink to loosen it. Align the bottom surface of the heat sink with the base of the large throat tube barrel. Keep the hot end squared on a flat table and ensure that all the screws are facing upwards. Secure the heat sink into place. Verify the final position of the heat sink as well as the gap between the nozzle and the heater block. Reattach the silicone sock. Pay special attention to the edges and nozzle to ensure it lies flush against the hot end. If the heat sink's position prevents the sock from lying flush, simply loosen the heat sink, affix the silicone sock, and lower the heat sink until it rests on top of the silicone cover. To reinstall your assembled hot end into your unit, continue on to our hot end installation video guide. 